We appreciate everything. I know my daughter wants to see that fire truck. That's uh, her and her brother. That's what some of their favorites. So, but I will also just say before we, before we uh, go do that, that if you look at what's happening with this inflation, they they calculate inflation. They say 8.5 percent, which is a lot, but almost everything that matters is much higher than that. The gas is much higher. The uh, utilities are higher. Groceries are higher. So all these core staples are much higher than that. So, yes, 8.5. Maybe there's some stuff that's under that. But quite frankly, it's a lot of stuff that, that people aren't buying on a daily basis to survive. And then if you look at how much the inputs for businesses have cost, you know, lumber, all this stuff has gone through the roof. So this is a huge problem. And the thing is, is Biden was warned that if he printed all this money and they borrowed all this money that this was going to happen. It wasn't just people like me. You had a lot of people who were liberal economists who told him, do not do this. And now people are acknowledging that those were some of the worst mistakes that presidents have made in, in the modern history of our country. You know, Carter did not have this many problems in his first two years as Biden has had. And I think this inflation and what he's done to fuel it has probably been the most significant failure. And here's the thing. You're causing it. You're exacerbating it. Reverse course in some way. Take some action to mitigate. We have energy in our country that we could be producing. And he refuses to do that, knowing that people are suffering at the pump and people are paying. The, the, I actually saw 499 in South Florida the other day for unleaded. So you're seeing it. This is much higher than it was a year ago and certainly beyond that. And this really is pinching a lot of people. And energy markets, you have, oh, there's a lot that goes into it, and people understand that. But what they want to know is, are you doing what you can to help alleviate what's going on? And he won't open Keystone, Anwar. He won't do the federal lands, and he makes it very, very difficult. Well, of course you're going to have upward pressure on this. So they need to get real here. They need to start doing things to actually help the American people uh, and stop with these bad policies because it's really, really disastrous. Secure the border. Get more energy. Stop doing what you're doing in terms of uh, China and, and laying down for China and all this other stuff. So at least I can tell you, you know, in Florida, all those bad policies, we are the number one state that's pushing back on Biden, and we're fighting back. And so we'll, we'll keep doing it. We'll make sure that, that we're leading the way. Uh, but I can tell you, as we, we're here on Good Friday, and, and I just want to wish everybody a very happy Easter weekend. We have uh, Madison will be headlining. The, we have an Easter egg roll at the governor's mansion tomorrow. Uh, and then, obviously, I know everyone's going to be able to celebrate Easter with their family. So just from our family to yours, God bless you all, uh, and I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Thank you. All right. Okay, okay. Madison, say hi.